me know when you're ready. You're good. We're good to go? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name's Pete Cassidy. I'm teaching here at Collin County Community College District. I've been teaching Oracle for the last 22 years. And what I'm getting ready to do now for my class is an overview of the Oracle architecture. And this overview uh, could be used for Oracle 7, Oracle 8, 8i, 9i, and 10g. I can't possibly put all the pieces on there, but the basic pieces. What page is it? <laughs> <laughs> and the way I start this out, one of the best questions I was ever asked is what are the three major pieces of any database, whether it be Oracle or some of the competitors? And this is a very hard question to answer because it's such a high level. And people that know Oracle want to give me the answer of the, the actual components in an Oracle database, and that's not what I'm asking. In any database, I'll give you a hint. When you do select star from employees, that data has to come from somewhere. Where does it come from? Okay, it's in a table which is logical. And a table belongs to a table space that we'll talk about later. And a table space gets mapped to something physical. And what is this something physical? that has the data for all the tables and indexes and so on. Be a, a data file, your, your storage. So one major piece of any database is storage. And up here, the bottom of the drawing here, here we have our data files, our control files, our redo logs, and our archive redo logs, and we'll talk about that a little later. So we have to have storage, and we use uh, disk storage uh, for our data files and so on. What's the second piece, we just started by the way, okay. of any Oracle database? And I'll give you a hint. My short term is terrible, but my long term is wonderful. I can still remember a round of golf in about the 10th grade. Uh, I was coming in on 18 and my buddies asked me what did I need that putt for and I said a 33 which was three under par. And they laughed. And it wasn't a healthy type of laughter. And it really made me angry. And within a year, I was actually putting for a 33. And they said, what do you need that for? And I putted it and went in. I said, that's my 33. And I can still remember just about every shot of that round. My long term is wonderful. My short term is terrible. What's the second piece in any database? Memory. Now, here's Oracle's memory up here, and we call it the SGA. I'm getting ready to label it here in a second. But I'm still answering the question, what are the three major components of any database? Now, the third component of any database, uh, you can refer to them or view them as traffic cops. Like if there's lots of traffic and you're trying to leave a building, usually there's going to be a policeman out there that's going to hold the traffic for you and so on. Well, what do you think it is in an Oracle database that kind of controls the actions of things? I'll give you a hint. There's a Unix or a Linux command that you can enter to see what all the... It's a PS command. <laughs> so what am I talking about? Those of you that know Unix or Linux. When you do a PS command, what are you actually looking at? Processes. Processes. Oh, the, process, yeah, the third piece of any database PS is, process. is processes. Now, that's with all the databases. So let's start with the storage. You told me that in any database there's storage. And you can see up here what I've drawn six or seven files. These are referred to as data files. And inside of these data files, you will have data. The data for tables will be in there. Okay? You can also have indexes stored in data files. You can have data files that are just full of indexes. Or you can have a data file with data and indexes in there. 
There's another special type of data that you can have in a data file. We used to call them rollback segments in versions uh, 6, version 7, Oracle 8, and 8i. They were called rollback segments. And then in 9i and 10g and 11g, you're encouraged to use undo segments. Well, I'm going to keep it R for the old rollback segments. And then you can also have a special file that has temporary data in it. Whenever Oracle does a sort and it can't put all the information in memory in the PGA, it's going to write it to temporary files. So one of my mnemonics that I have shared with my students since 1993 is Oracle is easy as dirt. Well, it's not really easy, but it's something to remember. So those are the major types of data files. A temporary file is really a temporary file and not a data file, but I wanted you to see that. Something else about data files. In Oracle, I believe it was 7, 8, and 8i, you could have 1,022 data files. Now you could have like 65,535, something close to that. That's a lot of data files, all right? Now, uh, real quickly, there's a couple of views that we're going to learn about uh, here in Admin 1, Workshop 1. One of these very important views, I think it's the most important view for a DBA, is DBA underscore data underscore files. That has information about these data files, which are physical, and it also shows you how these data files get mapped to table spaces, and table spaces are logical. There's also a couple of V dollars that pertain to data files. There's a V dollar DB file, which is my favorite, because I'm not a very good typist, I'm not real fast. And then there's also a V dollar data file. Okay, so that's one major piece of storage. Now, I have drawn on the board here another type of file that contains the structure of your database. And these are control files. We used to preach you should have at least two control files on every database, Oracle database, that you have. And 10G and 11G, Oracle Corporation is now advocating that you have three control files. They should be on different disk drives and different controllers. Inside the control files, you'll have uh, information like the database name. You'll have when the database was created. You will actually have the entire path names of all your data files. You'll also have checkpoint information, which we'll talk about later, for each of the data files. And I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to have to use too many terms that we haven't discussed yet. But the structure of the database is in the control files, and all three of these control files look exactly alike. All right. Um, one other, couple other things about control files. There's a V dollar that will tell you the full path name of your control files, and it's V dollar control file. You're going to discover, as an Oracle database administrator, you're going to be writing a lot of queries against the DBA views and you're going to be writing a lot of queries against these dynamic performance views that start with V$. dollar. And to abbreviate, instead of saying dynamic performance views, we refer to them as dynamic performance views. And DBAs write a lot of queries to these. All right, so there's your control files. Your control files have the structure of the database. One other thing, there is a very important parameter in your SP file that I'm going to put over here. 
the rest of this class in admin 1 and admin 2, we're going to be looking at many of these parameters. There's close to 270, 300 of these parameters. We can't possibly talk about all of them, but one of them that's very important 